breaking news the former vice president joe biden will become the fourth sixth u.s president the projection after a victory in his native pennsylvania puts the democrats over 270 which is the number needed for any presidential candidate to become the president of united states of america and thereby occupying the white house hello viewers and subscribers this is current affairs plus channel where we bring to you the latest news in politics sports and entertainment before i proceed if this is your first time in this channel there's a red subscription button below this video just go ahead and hit on that red subscription button so that you stay updated with all our latest news and updates after days of uncertainty joe biden has won the u.s presidential election during Donald Trump's four years in office, America's relationship with the world changed profoundly. Reporters across the globe, from Beijing to Berlin, explain how news of Mr. Biden's victory is being received and what it could mean for key U.S. relationships. You might think Beijing would be glad to see the back of Donald Trump. As China basher in chief, he hit them with a trade war levied a raft of punitive sanctions and bagged and blamed them for the colonial virus pandemic but some analysts have suggested that the chinese leadership may now be feeling secretly disappointed not because they have any lasting fondness for mr trump but because another four years of him in the white house held out the tantalizing prospect of a bigger price divisive at home isolationist abroad mr trump seems to beijing the very embodiment of the long anticipated and hoped for decline in u.s power it was a message rammed home by the country's communist party controlled tv news bulletins they focused not on the election itself but on the protest rancor and rising u.s virus infection rates alongside it China might, of course, try to find advantage in Joe Biden's willingness to seek cooperation on big issues like climate change, but he's also promised to work to repair American alliances, which may prove to be far more effective in constraining China's superpower ambitions than Trump's go-it-alone approach. And a Biden victory offers another challenge for a Chinese system devoid of democratic control, far from a decline in American values. The transition of power itself is proof that those values endure. A more predictable demonstration may be the silver lining for Russia of Mr. Biden's win. The Kremlin has an acute sense of hearing, so when Joe Biden recently named Russia as the biggest threat to America, they heard that loud and clear in Moscow. The Kremlin also has a long memory. In 2011, Vice President Biden reportedly said that if he were Mr. Putin, he wouldn't run again for president. It would be bad for the country and for himself. President Putin wouldn't have forgotten that. Mr. Biden and Mr. Putin are not a match. Made in Joe political heaven. Moscow fears the Biden presidency will mean more pressure and more sanctions from Washington. With a Democrat in the White House, could it be payback time for Russia's alleged intervention in the 2016 U.S. election? Once Russian newspaper, one Russian newspaper recently claimed that under Mr. Trump, U.S.-Russian relationship had plunged to the seabed, but it likened Mr. Biden to a dredger who was going to dig even deeper. Little wonder Moscow has that thinking feeling. But for the Kremlin, there could be a silver line. Russia's commentators predict a Biden administration will at least be more predictable than the Trump theme. That might make it easier to reach agreement or pressing issues like new starts. The crucial U.S. relationship nuclear arms reduction treaty due to, the, due to expire next February. Moscow will want to move from Trump era and try to build a working relationship with the new White House. But there is no guarantee for success. 
Germans hope for a return to smooth selling with their key allies once Donald Trump has departed. Germany will breathe a sigh of relief at this result. Only 10% of German trust President Trump on foreign policy, according to the Pew Research Center. He is more unpopular in Germany than in any other country surveyed. Even Russia's Putin and China Xi Jinping pull better in Germany. President Trump is accused of undermining free trade and dismantling the multinational institutions which Germany relies on economically. His spat with China has rattled German exporters and he has a notoriously poor relationship with Chancellor Angela Merkel. It's hard to imagine two leaders more different in ethos and personality. German politicians and voters have been shocked by his abrasive style, his unconventional approach to fact, and his frequent attack on Germany's car industry. Despite this, the US is Germany's biggest trading partner, and the transatlantic relationship is critical for European security. So the Trump presidency has been a rocky ride. German ministers have criticized President Trump's call for vote counting to stop and his unsubstantiated claim of electoral fraud. Defense Minister and its cramp Karimbaugh call the situation explosive. There is an awareness here that major policy differences between Washington and Berlin will not go away under a Biden presidency, but Berlin is looking forward to working with a president who values multilateral cooperation. Maybe we'll be approaching the new world order. Thank you so much for listening and God bless you. Thank you for watching. You may leave your comments, like and subscribe to our channel so that it will help us to do more videos.